Question 1. When driving a manual vehicle, what should you do with the clutch pedal after the car is in motion? A. Fully disengaged. B. Fully engaged. C. Half engaged. D. Lightly engaged. The answer is A. Fully disengaged. Question 2. When starting to drive from a parked position, where should your hands be positioned on the steering wheel? A. 2 o'clock slash 10 o'clock. B. 6 o'clock, 12 o'clock. C. 9 o'clock, 3 o'clock. D. 4 o'clock, 8 o'clock. The answer is C. 9 o'clock, 3 o'clock. Question 3. How far in advance should you signal before changing lanes or turning when you're outside of cities, towns, or villages? A. At least 50 m. B. At least 150 m. C. At least 200 m. D. At least 100 m. The answer is B. At least 150 m. Question 4. At a four-way stop intersection, if two vehicles arrive and stop simultaneously, which vehicle should yield the right-of-way? A. The vehicle on the left. B. The vehicle on the right. C. The smaller vehicle. D. The larger vehicle. The answer is A. The vehicle on the left. Question 5. Unless otherwise indicated, under what conditions can you proceed through a red light? A. Turning left with a red arrow. B. Turning left or right from a one-way street into another. C. Turning left from a one-way street into a two-way street. D. You can see no traffic for 150 m. The answer is B. Turning left or right from a one-way street into another. Question 6. When stopped at a stop sign, who should you check for and yield to before moving off? A. Motorcyclists. B. Pedestrians. C. Cyclists. D. Trucks. The answer is B. Pedestrians. Question 7. If a child is under 9 years old and weighs less than 80 pounds, until what height must they stay in a booster seat? A. 4 feet 6 inches. 
B. 4 feet 2 inches. C. 4 feet 9 inches. D. 5 feet 2 inches. The answer is C. 4 feet 9 inches. Question 8. Under what conditions is it acceptable to change more than one lane at a time? A. You have checked all three mirrors. B. You can make a full shoulder check. C. You have checked both side mirrors. D. You have checked your rearview mirror. The answer is B. You can make a full shoulder check. Question 9. When using the accelerator, how should your foot be positioned? A. Flat on the pedal, heel off the floor. B. Flat on the pedal, heel on the floor. C. Just touching with the tip of your shoe, heel off the floor. D. Just touching with the tip of your shoe, heel on the floor. The answer is B. Flat on the pedal, heel on the floor. Question 10. What is the hand signal for indicating a right turn? A. Left arm out, bent upwards. B. Left arm out, bent downwards. C. Left arm straight out, making a circular motion. D. Left arm pointing over the top of car in the direction of travel. The answer is A. Left arm out, bent upwards. Question 11. When turning left from a location where there are two lanes designated for left turns, what should you do? A. Stay in your lane as you turn. B. Try to move to the outside lane. C. Try to move to the inside lane. D. Move to whichever lane is opposite you. The answer is A. Stay in your lane as you turn. Question 12. In town, how far in advance should you signal before making a turn or lane change? A. 10M B. 15M C. 30M D. 50M The answer is C. 30M Question 13. Who will face penalties if a minor in a car is not properly secured with the appropriate safety devices? A. The parent. B. Nobody. C. The driver. D. The minor. The answer is C. The driver.
Question 15. When making a left turn, from where should you start the turn? A. As far to the right as possible. B. Just over the center line. C. The moment you enter the intersection. D. Just to the right of the center line. The answer is D. Just to the right of the center line. Question 16. When approaching an intersection, what should you be especially vigilant about? A. Traffic coming from the left or right. B. Traffic coming from the left or right. C. Pedestrians on the crosswalk. D. All of these. The answer is D. All of these. Question 17. You cannot make a U-turn on the approach to or near the crest of a hill unless you have a clear view of oncoming traffic for how far? A. 100M B. 200M C. 150M D. 50M The answer is C. 150M Question 18. Under what conditions is it permissible to make a right turn from the second lane out from the right curb if the road is obstructed within a certain distance of the intersection? A. 50M B. 30M C. 20M D. 10M The answer is B. 30M Question 19. When turning left from a one-way street onto a two-way street, which lane should you use? A. The middle of your lane. B. Over the center line. C. As close as possible to the center line. D. As close as possible to the left curb. The answer is D. As close as possible to the left curb. Question 20. When might downshifting in an automatic car improve your control? A. Going uphill. B. Going downhill. C. Cruising on a freeway. D. Accelerating away from lights. The answer is B. Going downhill. Question 21. In a roundabout, which vehicle has priority? A. The vehicle entering the roundabout from the left. B. The vehicle entering the roundabout from the right. C. The vehicle already on the roundabout. 
D. The vehicle intending to make a complete circuit of the roundabout. The answer is C. The vehicle already on the roundabout. Question 22. By what percentage can wearing a seatbelt lower the likelihood of being killed in a crash? A. 50%. B. 25%. C. 15%. D. 75%. The answer is D. 75%. Question 23. When leaving an expressway, when should you start reducing your speed? A. You are fully on the exit ramp. B. You have joined the right-hand lane. C. You are within 300m of the exit ramp. D. You are within 150m of the exit ramp. The answer is A. You are fully on the exit ramp. Question 24. What action should you take if you're following a truck and can't see its side mirrors? A. Close up. B. Move out to its right. C. Move out to its left. D. Drop back. The answer is D. Drop back. Question 25. When approaching a school bus with flashing lights or other warning signals, how far must you stay stopped until the signal is deactivated or the bus moves? A. 5 meters. B. 10 meters. C. 3 meters. D. 1 meter. The answer is A. 5 meters. Question 26. In what situations are you required to yield the right of way to a funeral procession? A. In any circumstances. B. When it is making a right turn. C. At a roundabout. D. When it is going straight across an intersection. The answer is A. In any circumstances. Question 27. If not otherwise posted, how close to the nearest rail of a railway crossing is it illegal to park? A. 20M. B. 10M. C. 5M. D. 30M. The answer is D. 30M.
Question 28. What is the default maximum speed limit in a rural area if no other signs are posted? A. 65 km per hour. B. 90 km per hour. C. 75 km per hour. D. 110 km per hour. The answer is B. 90 km per hour. Question 29. What action should you take if the vehicle behind you is tailgating? A. Slow down gradually. B. Speed away from them. C. Flash your emergency taillights. D. Sound your horn. The answer is A. Slow down gradually. Question 30. After passing a truck, when is it safe to return to its lane based on what you see in your rearview mirror? A. The left front wheel. B. The driver's face. C. The whole of the cab. D. The top of the cab. The answer is C. The whole of the cab. Question 1. Why is it important to be especially careful about making sudden maneuvers in front of a transit bus? A. Because you would come off worse in a crash. B. Because sudden stops could injure standing passengers. C. Because transit bus drivers are not very skillful. D. Because transit bus drivers are dangerously aggressive. The answer is B. Because sudden stops could injure standing passengers. Question 2. In what situations are you allowed to exceed the posted speed limit while overtaking another vehicle? A. Never. B. If you can see no oncoming vehicles for 500m. C. If the person you are passing speeds up. D. If you can't make the pass without doing so. The answer is A. Never. Question 3. On a highway with a posted maximum speed limit under 80 km per hour, what speed can result in a fine if you pass a fire truck attending to a vehicle fire? A. 70 km per hour. B. 40 km per hour. C. 60 km per hour. D. 50 km per hour. The answer is B. 40 km per hour.
Question 4. What is the default maximum speed limit in urban areas if no other signs are posted? A. 70 km per hour. B. 40 km per hour. C. 60 km per hour. D. 50 km per hour. The answer is D. 50 km per hour. Question 5. If you're in the middle lane of a three-lane one-way street and an emergency vehicle with its siren and lights on approaches from behind, what should you do? A. Stay in your lane. B. Move to the nearest curb. C. Move to the right curb. D. Move to the left curb. The answer is B. Move to the nearest curb. Question 6. Under ideal driving conditions, how long should you wait after the vehicle ahead has just passed a spot before you attempt to pass it? A. 1 second. B. 3 seconds. C. 4 seconds. D. 2 seconds. The answer is C. 4 seconds. Question 7. What is the most frequent type of accident that occurs at the entrance to expressways? A. Right-hand sideswipes. B. Left-hand sideswipes. C. Rear-end collisions. D. Front-end collisions. The answer is C. Rear-end collisions. Question 8. If you're merging onto an expressway and might need to slow down or stop, what is the best way to alert the drivers behind you? A. Turn on your emergency flashers. B. Wave a signal from the window. C. Sound your horn sharply. D. Flash your brake lights. The answer is D. Flash your brake lights. Question 9. When merging onto an expressway with traffic moving at 90 km per hour, what speed should you aim to match? A. 70 km per hour. B. 90 km per hour. C. 45 km per hour. D. 100 km per hour. The answer is B. 90 km per hour. Question 10. In a school zone, during what times around the start or end of school hours is passing prohibited? A. 30 minutes. B. 5 minutes. 
C. 15 minutes. D. 10 minutes. The answer is C. 15 minutes. Question 11. When approaching a school bus from the front with its flashing lights or other warning devices activated, when is it permissible to continue driving without stopping? A. There is more than one lane separating you from the school bus. B. There is a double solid line between roads. C. You can safely slow down to less than 20 km per hour. D. There is a solid median divider between roads. The answer is D. There is a solid median divider between roads. Question 12. When stopping at a railway crossing in a non-restricted speed area, how far should you be from the nearest rail? A. 2.5 M B. 15 M C. 10 M D. 5 M The answer is B. 15 M Question 13. It is illegal not to stop for a pedestrian on the left sidewalk using a crosswalk unless what condition applies? A. The road has a solid median divider. B. You judge that you can pass them before they reach your lane. C. You are in the furthest right-hand lane. D. The road has a double solid line in the middle. The answer is A. The road has a solid median divider. Question 14. When is the optimal time to check your tire pressures? A. After your car has been sitting overnight. B. At the end of your daily commute. C. At the end of a long journey. D. After you've just been driving at high speeds. The answer is A. After your car has been sitting overnight. Question 15. When approaching a cyclist coming toward you at night, what should you do? A. Turn up your lights. B. Dim your lights. C. Sound your horn. D. Accelerate. The answer is B. Dim your lights. Question 16. At a school crosswalk, besides stopping for children, what other situation requires you to stop? A. Disabled pedestrians. B. All pedestrians. C. Blind pedestrians. D. Elderly pedestrians. 
The answer is B. All pedestrians. Question 17. How might a cyclist signal their intention to stop? A. Pointing either arm straight up to the sky. B. Waving the right arm in a circular motion. C. Left arm extended straight out. D. Left arm extended out and bent downwards. The answer is D. Left arm extended out and bent downwards. Question 18. When there is a pedestrian corridor, what is the minimum distance you must keep free of parking? A. 20M B. 15M C. 10M D. 5M The answer is B. 15M Question 19. When is it legally required to turn on your headlights due to reduced visibility? A. 60M B. 50M C. 20M D. 30M The answer is A. 60M Question 20. Unless indicated otherwise, what is the minimum distance you must keep from a fire station's driveway entrance when parking? A. 6M B. 5M C. 3M D. 4M The answer is A. 6M Question 21. What are the required types of turn signals at the front of your car? A. Amber or blue. B. White or red. C. Amber or white. D. Amber or red. The answer is C. Amber or white. Question 22. What is the minimum distance you must stay away from a crosswalk when parking or stopping? A. 3M B. 4M C. 2M D. 1M The answer is A. 3M Question 23. When parking on a curve outside a city, 
town, or village, what is the minimum distance your vehicle must be visible from in both directions? A. 20M B. 40M C. 60M D. 80M The answer is C. 60M. Question 24. When slowing down to parallel park, how should you alert other drivers behind you? A. Riving your engine. B. Flashing your brake lights three times. C. Shouting a warning. D. Swerving towards the parking space. The answer is B. Flashing your brake lights three times. Question 25. When reversing, what should you check before moving? A. Over your shoulder. B. The right-hand side mirror. C. The left-hand side mirror. D. All of these. The answer is D. All of these. Question 26. What is the minimum distance you must park from a fire hydrant on the same side of the street? A. 2M. B. 3M. C. 1.5M. D. 4M. The answer is B. 3M. Question 27. When driving alongside cyclists, how much space is it recommended to give them? A. At least 25 centimeters. B. At least 1 m. C. At least 75 centimeters. D. At least 50 centimeters. The answer is B. At least 1 m. Question 28. In areas where the regular speed limit is under 80 km per hour, what is the minimum speed limit that can apply in a school zone? A. 40 km per hour. B. 60 km per hour. C. 30 km per hour. D. 50 km per hour. The answer is C. 30 km per hour. Question 29. How far should you position your vehicle from the parked cars when preparing to parallel park? A. 2 car widths. B. 1 car width. C. 0.3 meters. D. 1.5 car widths. The answer is B. 1 car width.
Question 30. If you're caught driving while your license is suspended, for how long will the vehicle you're driving be impounded at a minimum? A point 30 days. B.10 days. C.7 days. D.14 days. The answer is a point 30 days. Question 1. When parking on an uphill slope, how should you position your wheels? A. Turn towards the curb. B. In a straight line. C. Turned away from the curb. D. All the above. The answer is C. Turned away from the curb. Question 3. When your vehicle is disabled or involved in an accident, how far in front of and behind your vehicle should you place reflectorized signs or flares? A. 20M B. 100M C. 60M D. 40M The answer is C. 60M Question 4. To prevent a rollover if you drift off the road, what should you do immediately? A. Accelerate and steer slowly back to the road. B. Release the gas and steer sharply back to the road. C. Release the gas and steer slowly back to the road. D. Brake as hard as possible and steer sharply back to the road. The answer is C. Release the gas and steer slowly back to the road. Question 5. When driving at night and approaching another vehicle, at what distance should you dim your headlights? A. 500M B. 450M C. 400M D. 350M The answer is B. 450M
Question 6. At night, you should always drive at a speed that allows you to stop within the distance visible in your headlights. With high beams on under normal conditions, what is this distance usually? A. 150M B. 120M C. 110M D. 130M The answer is C. 110M Question 9. If you're in a collision causing serious or fatal injuries and haven't reported it at the scene, how soon must you report it to the police? A. 14 days. B. 1 month. C. 3 days. D. 7 days. The answer is D. 7 days. Question 10. If you begin to feel drowsy while driving, what is the best action to take? A. Drink an energy drink. B. Turn the radio up loud. C. Pull off the road and rest. D. Open the windows. The answer is C. Pull off the road and rest. Question 14. If you hit and injure or kill a domestic animal while driving and can't locate the owner, who should you report the incident to? A. The fire service. B. The clerk of the local municipality. C. The police. D. The local branch of the SPCA. The answer is B. The clerk of the local municipality. Question 16. In dense fog or snow, how should you adjust your headlights for the best visibility? A. Flashing. B. Off. C. On full beam. D. Dipped. The answer is D. Dipped.
Question 19. If you are turning right on a red light where permitted, what must you do before entering the intersection? A. You may turn right on a red light only after coming to a complete stop and waiting until the way is clear. B. Slow down, signal and turn. C. Stop, then edge into traffic. D. Slow down, proceed with caution. The answer is A. You may turn right on a red light only after coming to a complete stop and waiting until the way is clear. Question 21. What should you always do before changing lanes? A. Checking the rear view mirror. B. Signaling and decreasing speed. C. Blowing your horn and providing the appropriate hand signal. D. Signaling, checking the rear view mirror and checking blind spots. The answer is D. Signaling, checking the rear view mirror and checking blind spots. Question 22. When driving on two-way streets, what must you do if you hear the siren of an emergency vehicle? A. Continue at same speed. B. Signal the driver to pass. C. Speed up and get out of the way. D. Pull to the right as far as possible and stop. The answer is D. Pull to the right as far as possible and stop. Question 23. What should you do when entering a freeway? A. Slow down and then enter freeway at a sharp angle. B. Drive slowly and be prepared to stop for freeway traffic. C. Stop on acceleration lane, wait for an opening, and then enter the freeway rapidly. D. Signal and increase your speed to merge smoothly with traffic. The answer is D. Signal and increase your speed to merge smoothly with traffic. Question 24. What is not allowed to be carried in a house or boat trailer by the driver of a motor vehicle? A. Firearms. B. Persons. C. Flammable materials. D. Pets. The answer is B. Persons. Question 25. What is the most crucial aspect of driving through a curve or corner? A. Do nothing. B. Slow down before you get to it. C. Completely stop before you get to it. D. Speed up before you get to it. The answer is B. Slow down before you get to it.
Question 26. If a tire blows out, what should you do? A. Take your foot off the gas pedal to slow down and steer the vehicle firmly in the direction you want to go. B. Keep foot on brake and steer to left. C. Apply heavy braking. D. Keep foot on brake and steer to right. The answer is A. Take your foot off the gas pedal to slow down and steer the vehicle firmly in the direction you want to go. Question 27. At an intersection with a green light, which of the following has the right of way over all other vehicles? A. Pedestrians crossing against the light. B. Pedestrians crossing with the light. C. Vehicles turning right. D. Vehicles turning left. The answer is B. Pedestrians crossing with the light. Question 28. Which lane should you be in when preparing to turn right? A. The lane approaching from the left. B. Close to the right side of the roadway. C. Close to the center line of the roadway. D. Close to the left side of the roadway. The answer is B. Close to the right side of the roadway. Question 29. What does a flashing yellow beacon above an intersection indicate? A. Stop if making left turn. B. Warns you to drive with caution. C. Continue at same speed. D. Stop if making left turn. The answer is B. Warns you to drive with caution. Question 30. What does a red signal light with a green arrow at an intersection signify? A. Proceed with caution in the direction of arrow. B. Stop and wait for green signal before making turn in the direction of the arrow. C. The green arrow is a signal for pedestrians only. D. Stop and then proceed. The answer is A. Proceed with caution in the direction of arrow. 